My life be like. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a break from working on the Miata and we're actually going to be working on the Grom. Um, the Grom has come a long way since the last time that you guys saw it. So let me show you what I've done and then we'll get to the new stuff. So here we go. Alright, so as you can see, I've started painting it this gray. I painted it white. It was originally black like that fender. So I started painting it gray and I've been taking my time with it because I wanted to do a good job because the time that I painted it with that white paint, it didn't come out too good. So the things that I've done is the paint, I lowered it and stretched it. I will li leave a link in the description of the stretch and the lowering link down here. Also, I got a new seat. I will leave a link in the description as well for that. Got some handlebars. So next thing that we're going to do is we're going to finish painting that white piece and the fender. And after that, I want to get black levers. So after this video that we finished painting, next thing would be black levers. I want to get a new shifter also. But uh, yeah, this is how we sit in for now. Also, I might in the future wrap those forks. I don't like how they're gold. I might wrap them black. But yeah. I also have to say with this lowering kit and the stretch, my exhaust has been scraping. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, I also forgot to mention I got new foot pegs. I will leave a link in the description as well. So let's get to painting. To take this off, we're just going to take this bolt and this bolt. And for this one, we're going to take this, all these bolts, and we'll get to sanding. So now this is what we are working with. What I'm gonna do is, I can't take these off because they have tape in the back. So if I take them off, I would have to buy a new pair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tape around it, cover it, and then start sanding. So I will show you guys once I'm done sanding. So here we have them. The first coat is done. So I'm gonna give it like 15, 20 minutes to dry and I'm gonna end up giving it three coats and then probably two or three of clear. So I'll show you guys the end product. All right guys, so it's a couple hours later. I'm gonna show you what I did and I'm gonna let it dry overnight. So when I'm messing with it and touching them and putting them on the bike, they don't get uh, messed up. So let me show you. I have them hanging by my garage door. They all have three coats of paint and three coats of clear. I did the front fender in gray and the um, blinker assembly in black. So I'll catch you up guys tomorrow when once I'm putting it back on and we'll see the final product. All right guys, so it is the next day. So you can see the parts are dry. So I'm gonna take them off and start putting them on the ground. So let's start with the blinker assembly. All right, so we had a little incident. There was some white still showing. So I just touched it up. I'm going to hang it. I'm gonna start with the 
rear or with the front fender first while this dries and then I'll put this one on. So what I'm gonna start doing is putting these studs in. This these were a pain. I couldn't figure out how they come out, so I'm gonna show you. Let's get them on sometime. There we go. So what you do is you grab the stud and literally have to like fish it in here. Look for the hole and then tighten it. Once you have it tight, you gotta get your pliers. Tighten it and then you get these nuts and put them on. And these are a 10. Pull them up. All right. And then you're going to get two of these. side that it's completely dry. What I'm going to do first is just plug it in. An eight millimeter. Now to put this back, you're just going to align it so that these holes are lined with these. Let's make sure that our turn signals work. Good. Good. It is, uh, you gotta keep in mind it is a spray paint in a garage, rattle cane job, so you can't ask much of it, but it looks, I think it looks pretty good. I like the co color scheme and how the colors flow together and everything. We're getting towards the end of this project. I know that projects are never done, but for this one, it is getting to that point. Next thing I'm gonna do is put a new shifter and we'll go from there. And as always guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.